Hey everybody, this is Monica Yella from Access Lake Chapala, and as you know, the Day of the Dead is coming, celebrated the 2nd of November. The, a tradition that is very important to all the Mexican culture because it's when we remember all our loved ones that have passed away. We want to share with you a interview we had with a friend Gonzalez, the artist that is responsible of this beautiful clay wall made out of skulls that is located just in the heart of Akihi. We hope you enjoyed this interview and if you're in town, please come and join us and be part of the community. So we're now here actually just two blocks away from the main town of Akihi and across the church. So if you're ever visiting Akihi, you have to come to this beautiful mural of skulls that are done out of barro, clay, clay, clay. in English. Um, and the maestro Efrain is going to tell us a little bit of how this was inspired and how this happened. Because the 2nd of November, as you all know, we celebrate the Day of the Dead. So this is something inspired to all of the dead and the local people that live here in Akihi. So okay. what really inspired you and how did this this became so beautiful and so big? Well, thank you. Uh, Monica, the way this happened was, it took, it, it didn't happen right away. It didn't happen as, you know, just one, one inspiration one day came to me and that was it. The way it happened was that uh, I was actually going to paint a mural here with my brush and you know I, I actually got up on a ladder and I started drawing part of my design but when I was up there I could feel that the wall was not in good shape it was hollow I, I touched the wall and I thought you know this this uh, plaster is going to fall so I, I stopped my project but what happened there is that at some point there was a contest a local mural contest and I, I participated with a clay mural and I won first prize and after that then I thought you know it would be nice it would be great to do this whole wall in clay but I thought you know I'm, I can't do one whole piece by hand one by one trying to cover a whole wall like this so what I started to do and I, I started to think of how to create a piece that would belong to the community that would be part of the people and that people would embrace it as their own. So what I did is I went around and I asked people if I could have names or their, of their uh, deceased people. So I started to have a list of uh, names and I created these skulls. And what I did is, uh, you know, I made the original piece and then what we did is we created a little piece that we can have like this and we can put a candle on the bottom of the skull and we do that on November the 2nd and we we light up all of the skulls there's around 1600 skulls that we have here and what we do is we invite the whole community and everybody in town comes on that day and we start right at eight o'clock and what we do is we put the light we put the candle and everybody brings either their lighter their matches and we go ahead and we do the lighting of the whole wall that's how it started. At, at the beginning, people didn't really trust the project. It was difficult to convince them that this was going to be something good. But finally, we made it happen and uh, everybody loves it. It became an icon of Ajiji. Everybody who comes here comes and uh, takes, has uh, their photograph taken, videos and all of that. So it became uh, much more successful than I expected. But uh, the names that you see, these are people who already passed away. Most of them, I have to admit, because I have my own skull up there and I'm still here kicking a little bit. So the idea is, you know, I, I wanted to have my own skull here together with my wife and my kids because we know that we're not going to get out of here alive. So I wanted to have my space and, I, and it's already there. But most of the people that are here are people who already passed away, except a few ones that were privileged to be here before that happened. And it's people from the community. This is, this is actually a very iconic celebration we do every year. And the sec, because we really, really, one of the biggest traditions that we really admire in Mexico is our, the Day of the Dead. Yes, yes, we yes. We celebrate the people that have passed away and we celebrate it like it's a big party. Yes. And I feel that 
when you see if it's impacting looking at it right now when you see it light up it just makes you feel like you are giving that respect to all that people that are not here it's a it's a magical moment when we lead them all up it's a magical moment because not only because of the participation of the people that come and help us do it but also because to many of those people who come and help us they have they, they come and lit up maybe their father or their grandfather or their mom you know and so what we do is we're giving the community something magical and and something that they can touch and feel and remember about um, about their lives and about their deceased so what we do what we're doing here we without really thinking that that was going to result we created we created a tradition that's what happened and now people are waiting so i know you know for instance that many people come who are a bit older so for them we bring enough chairs to put all across the street so they can sit there and watch you know some of them come and participate they lit up a couple of candles many of them can't do it so they just sit and watch and of course everybody's making videos and taking photographs and all of that but uh once again, it, it, it grew much more than I expected. And I'm proud of it, but uh, I'm humble at the same time, thinking, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know this was going to happen. But I'm very proud of And And I feel that you've made proud the people that live in Ajijic and the new people also that come and know the story of this wall and look at it. It just inspires them, you know, to become more involved with the traditions and yes. the culture. Yes. Because we are a town that is very involved to keeping the traditions, to keeping the culture, to making, you know, the little ones still remember everything that we grew up with. Yes. So this is one of the most iconic things that you can come and see. And you can pass from generation to generation listening to a story like this. Yeah. There is something that I wrote. Uh, it's too long to read it, but uh, what the the idea about what I wrote? It's it's kind of a I don't know if it's a poem or just I don't know what it is. But because I'm not a writer, I'm a painter, I'm a an artist. But um, what happened was that about three or four days before the first time that we lit up the candles, I couldn't sleep because these ideas came to my mind speaking about dying and then not really dying you know still being around and being part of the community and being uh, as long as people remember us we're still here you know so the thing is that if we were able to do things uh, I don't know like like we're doing here but but all of those ideas that I wrote on that poem were just in my mind and finally one night you know, I was just so tired and I had to sleep. I got up and I took a piece of paper and I wrote everything that was in my mind. And I just put it down and then finally I was able to go to sleep. And then the next day I kind of put words together nicely and you know, it made, kind of, it made some sense to me anyhow. And uh, I, came and I, I wrote it there because it was part of my cre creative process. And I had to get it out and put it together with this mural. And those words are there. Um, when I did them the first night, the, the first night that we lit up the, the wall, I, I was too shy and I didn't put my name. I didn't sign it. My, I'm, I'm speaking about the write-up. I was too shy, so I just wrote it and then I walked away and we did everything else. The next day, when there was nobody here, I went over and I put my name under it. And only then I was able to, to come and, and do it. But it's it's just giving. You know, it's it doesn't doesn't have anything to do. This was never expected to make money. This is not a piece of art where anyone can make money. This is only to share with the community and to share our culture to the world and to make people see. Many people come and uh, they take photographs each day of this piece and they make videos and they, you know, it's, it's promoted widely. And I'm very proud of that. But again, it, it has become much more than I expected. That's the honest truth.
Well, um, if you're here the 2nd of November and you can be part of this beautiful tradition, the ceremony starts at 8 at night, so it's very recommended and please do come because once you're here, you see the lights, you see the candles, you will feel like you're home and you will feel that this tradition that a friend Gonzalez started is yours now because I feel hard and one of the things that I like to share with everybody that comes to visit Abiji is this. This just makes me very proud. Well, anybody who comes on November the 2nd, bring your lighter, bring matches or a little lighter and you can help us. You become part of our tradition. Yes. Hope to see you here. Hope to see you here too.